All right, let's move on to Seattle. One more in the Pacific here. Yeah, that's an interesting one. They are going to be interesting. We both have them in wild card spots. I got them at 94 points. You got them at 93. Um, I mean, they're, they're, they're a team that just plays the right way. You know, we just talked about them having, you know, four second lines has, has been kind of the, the mantra about them. There is some question marks for sure. Like, can a guy like Aberly repeat the season he just had? Can Jared McCann repeat the season he just had? But then, like, Baneers, hopefully you can get another step out of him. I think you can. I, I think I, you can too. Yeah. I, I think right now this guy has endless gears. Yeah. It's, it sure seems that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to say that's his ceiling until he declines two years in a row. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's just, you can't. Same with McCann. McCann is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's a 40 goal guy. He's outrageous. Yeah. And that's, a, again, another guy I didn't expect to have that kind right. of like a season. It's another guy the Canucks gave up on too early. Ow. Yeah. Shipped him to Pittsburgh for Brandon Sutter. Oh, no. Yes. Anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Ain't that the truth? I mean, they got, they're, they're solid all the way up and down. I'd say. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that was a question. I thought you were just Yeah, bridging. no, no, no. Yeah, uh, no, I, I would have just to Just the, the look you gave me was like you disagreed. So. <laughs> no, sorry. I was just double checking exactly who the hell they had on their yeah. team. I was like, they didn't have a turnover, did they? No, in no. fact, they had, they, they acquired Tolvanen last year from yep. Nashville off waivers too, which is like yep. an insane pickup. Pretty much the same way they got Bork, Bjorkstrand. Yep. Um, their D group is fine. I mean, that's, it's, there's not, nothing eye popping about it, but at, at the same time, it's just solid all the way through, I'd say. I don't think there's really any major concerns for me. Uh, I, I, I have no problem with Alexiak in a third pairing role. Dunn, Dumoulin, Larson, Schultz, and Borgen. I like, I, I like all of those players. I have no problem with that. I don't like Adam Larson. No. I didn't like Adam Larson when, we, when he was on the Devils. I did a little victory dance when we traded him one for one for Hall. Yeah. Like, I... I don't know. It's I'm not big on big defenders anymore. I'm really big on like mid-sized defenders that are scrappy. Okay. Aside from that though, like I love Justin Schultz. Dumoulin's yep. awesome. Dunn's yep. great. Yep. Alexiak is a fantastic third pairing person. Like, For sure. He's gonna lay down the body day in and day out. Mm -hmm. He's basically just another version of Tanev. Mm -hmm. It's Walmart Tanev. Mm -hmm. And Borgen, probably there's someone you could replace for War. Like yeah. that's. Yeah. But that comes with time. Right. That's not a big issue. I, I definitely see this team making wild card two. I have them sitting at around... 93. Like, yeah, 93. You got them at 94. So we're like yeah. right in the same ballpark yeah. there. We're splitting hairs. I like it. Yeah. And wh who do they have yeah. for goalies again? Grubauer. You think he's going to do any better? You think he's going to like hit a cliff? I don't think either. I think he's serviceable. Like I, I have just no... I, I don't really think that Grubauer is the best goalie on earth. Again, I, I also kind of think goalies are disposable these days. So, like, as long as he's not awful, they're fine. Yeah, right. And like, I don't think he will be. Like, I, I don't think he's an awful goalie. I don't think he was the, the worth the price tag they gave him. But as long as he's just fine, they're fine. I, I think he's going to kind of fall off a cliff this year. That's going to be my, like, question mark. I think that this forward group is actually going to play over their head. But they're gonna get dragged down by the goaltending. Sure, I'm 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 gonna put another hot spot prediction out there and say that Grubauer has three point two nine goals against average every game. Sure, like right. like for the season, we're gonna call that his GAA. 